Hello everyone, this is Lance with NinjaScript Education here at NinjaTrader. Today I will be showing you how to create alerts that trigger through strategies by using the strategy wizard within NinjaTrader. So let's go ahead and begin by going to the control center, clicking on tools, then going to new NinjaScript and selecting strategy from the drop down. Now it'll open up our create new strategy wizard. So let's go ahead and proceed through the menu by clicking next. And in here we can assign it a name, so let's call this one Sample Alert. And then we'll go ahead and click on Next. And on here we are able to define all our inputs that our strategy may be using. In this case we just want to create one input that's going to allow us to toggle whether or not we use our alert when we're running our script in real time. So let's go ahead and use type in a, a name such as Trigger Alert. So the goal behind this is if we have the user set this to false, we're not going to have any alerts play. If they set it to true, it's going to then trigger alerts. So let's go ahead and make sure we have the right type used, and that's going to be a bool for a boolean value, which allows us to select true or false values. We'll leave the default set to true, and then we'll go ahead and click on next to proceed to setting up a basic condition. On this conditions window, I can then go ahead and click on add. And I'll just make a basic condition that's going to compare the closing price to the opening price. So I'll choose close on the left and open on the right, and I'll choose from the drop down the center. We'll just choose a greater than. So this is just saying that if the close is greater than the open, we want to go ahead and do something in the following. And that something is going to be to trigger our alert. So let's go ahead and add our alert by clicking on this add button. And from the miscellaneous drop down the strategy actions, I can then go ahead and select alert. And once I left click on alert, I'll have a list of parameters for that alert that I can then configure. The first is just the ID, so you can name this whatever you want. The next is the priority. This comes in three choices, high, medium, or low. And this will be the display priority when you're having the alert trigger in real time. It'll just have a little message that says priority, and it'll give you an, a signification of high, medium, or low. So I'll just leave that on high for now. And then message, this would be the message text that displays in that alerts window. So let's go ahead and label it accordingly. So we can call it an up bar. So every time an up bar happens, we'll go ahead and get this alert. And then for the sound location, if you want to have an audio alert trigger along with the alert in the alerts window, you could then left click on these three dots. And that's going to open up the Windows directory to your NinjaTrader 7 Sounds folder and you can select one of the alerts in here. So I'll just double left click on the Alert 2 wave. The next, as we scroll down here, we have a couple more options. The first is the rearm seconds. So as I uh, set this, I, by default it's set to zero. What that means is that if you have a rearm seconds of zero, when the alert triggers, it's going to trigger once and never trigger again, even if the condition still continues to be met. If I were to type in a 5 here, that means the alert would trigger a maximum of once every 5 seconds, even if the alert was triggering every single second. So you can set it accordingly based on how frequently you want the alert to be able to trigger itself. So I'll go ahead and set that to 5 seconds, so we can have the alert trigger every 5 seconds. The next are the background color and the foreground color. This will just be for the alert message label and the text behind it. So if we wanted to change that, I could change this drop down and scroll down and locate a different color, such as, uh, let's just go ahead and choose something like purple. And then on top of that purple, we can overlay it with some white text. I'll just choose smoke white from the drop down. I'll go ahead and click on OK. We now have our alert that's been set in the do the following section. However, we have that user input that we took at the start and we now want to take that input and you allow that input to determine whether or not we trigger this alert. So we'll add one more condition to the top by clicking on this add button. And I want to go ahead and choose our user defined inputs and choose trigger alert. And we want to have on the right hand side miscellaneous. We can select a true or false value. So I want to make sure if this is equal to true in the center we have our equals equals. I can go ahead and click on OK. So now this is going to require both the input to be true and for us to have an up bar. And if both those conditions are met, it's going to trigger an alert. So let's go ahead and click Next a couple of times to finish up the strategy and compile it. So now we'll hear that little chime, and that means that our strategy did compile successfully. So let's go ahead and drag over a chart so we can test it out. So here I've just pulled over a basic 10 second chart and I am on a simulation data feed right now so I am able to control the market. 
and let's go ahead and left click on the strategy icon here and as I do that I'll have a list of all the strategies that are on my system in this case I want to choose the sample alert I'll double left click on that and as I add the sample alert in here we can set this to true or false if I go ahead and click on OK right now the strategy isn't yet enabled so I do want to enable it by setting this from false to true and then as I click on OK what will happen is at the close of this bar which will be every 10 seconds we should get an alert and there we just heard a beep and if I open up the alerts window so I'll go to file new and choose alerts from the expansion I can drag this over and we'll see that the alerts are coming through with that sort of whitish text and the purple background here we have the priority being displayed and again every 10 seconds we'll get the same message that comes through and if I wanted to disable this I would just go to the strategies tab or reopen the strategies property on the chart itself and then click on uncheck the enabled button and it will no longer be enabled so now we'll no longer hear those alerts coming through or the alerts won't, will no longer be appearing in this alerts window so that's all I have for you today in terms of that alerts tip and I uh, encourage you all to check out the other tips we have on our YouTube forum and if you have any further questions please feel free to send them to support at ninjatrader.com thanks and happy trading